It was, I thought it was uh, every American's duty to do their part during the war. And I tried to uh, join the service, but I was not able to because I was classified or my ancestry were all people of my ancestry were all classified as 4C enemy alien. So we were not allowed to volunteer for service. This is after the World War II. Two, the, our government decided that they didn't know enough about the Japanese American in living in the United States, whether we would be loyal to America or to Japan. And uh, at that time, we were just a, a minority of the minorities. We were approximately 300,000 in the 40 census when our total American population was about 300 million. So we were just a drop in the bucket. Our country and the government did not know anything about us. We joined the reserve when we were discharged in Fort Meade, Maryland in the June 1946. And being that uh, we uh, went through basic training, we felt most of us that didn't see combat with the unit decided that if there should be another war in three years, we would all be ready to go. And that was our primary reason for joining the reserve. The Korean War, you know, the Northern Army, North Korean Army invaded South Korea in uh, June of 50. And uh, being in the reserve, I got my notice in August of 1950 and I was sent to Fort Hood, Texas for a nine weeks refresh course. And being that my military service number in, from World War II was a heavy machine gun operator, I was uh, flown to Japan to join the 7th Regiment of the 3rd Division and had to train, recruit, draftees from the South Korean Army before we were sent overseas. When I was told that I received the, by the third division commander when I was released from prison camp, that uh, I had received the Medal of Honor for actions of on the night of 24th April 1951. I remember all I could say is what? for doing uh, my duty. I was a machine gun squad leader and I didn't want to see my men killed and I just covered the withdrawal and I didn't think I was doing anything heroic then. I thought I was just doing my job. And they thought we were dead. It's it true, my wife received the letter saying, I was missing in action. Primarily because the Chinese army did not release any information about the prisoners they had. It was only because they began. Uh, we had 10,000 of their troops and they wanted to uh, negotiate in, in exchange. And that's how the peace talks began by uh, talking about exchanging prisoners. Eventually it led to signing an armistice. And that was the only reason that we were allowed to uh, leave because they were beginning to exchange prisoners. And they decided to, uh, after the first year of captivity, they released names of some of the names that they had and my name happened to be in the first uh, list that they released. And so the DOD, Department of Defense, notified my wife that I was a prisoner of war in North Korea. You need friends and you depend on each other to help you in situations like that. And uh, we talk about family, automobiles, food, 
actually food was the main topic, and we used to um, exchange recipes of different foods that we would like back home. And uh, it mainly concentrating on trying to stay alive. And uh, I found that you have to have the willpower to say that you won't give up because I've seen so many young men give up. And when once you give up, you're just not going to make it. And as long as you say you won't give up, there's hope that you will make it. It's affected my life in many ways. I've always been uh, a person that never uh, said too much. I, I was more or less uh, a loner, I guess you'd say. But uh, it, it made me uh, aware that I was wearing our nation's highest honor and I had to act differently, especially among uh, younger people. And uh, when I joined the um, Medal of Honor Society, the main goal was to try to teach our younger American to become good American citizens and patriotic citizens. And that's our primary goal. And I've uh, always uh, tried to do that by, I figured uh, there must be a reason for me to still be on this earth. And I felt I, I had never been the type to talk to any group, small, young, or old, about anything. And uh, I've, I decided that uh, that was one of the purposes I was uh, left to be on this earth to teach and try to help our younger children to become better citizens.